What is up guys, Gilly Kevin, and today on this particular episode we are going to be looking at Farming Simulator 2015. I'm going to be showing you one of the many methods that have been around for this game to make money. Now this varies, depends on how many bee houses you have. We're going to be using that method, hence the thumbnail. And uh, yeah, we're going to be using those. So anyone can do this at the beginning of the game. As you can tell, I've just started a new game just to show the principle of how this is actually going to work. And it's actually going to work really quite nicely. So we're just going to do it as we go through this. So I'm going to let this load and then I'll show you what needs to be done. It's pretty easy to be totally fair. Um, didn't take too long to figure it out or anything else. It's just kind of like simple math by playing the game. Obviously looking at it as well. Uh, the income from the bee houses that you get and how many you can actually have which is an unlimited amount so what happens is when you go into the game which I'll show you now is we're actually gonna go into and we're gonna skip the intro which we're gonna do now so, hello do you want to see the tutorial we go no for that what you want to do is cycle through your vehicles and try and find the one closest to the shop which is gonna be probably the third or fourth tractor this one right here we're gonna get out and we're going to run to the ATM slash loan machine. Now the loan machine is really kind of cool. It is just down past the actual vehicle shop. And it's just around this corner. There we go. Press RB to activate you can, or any other controller. What we're going to do is maximize our budget which we can take out. Which is approximately, I think it's 160,000. I'm not entirely too sure. Run back to the shop. And then what we're going to be doing is going to be selling our vehicles. And trying to, what I'm trying to do is double check what tractor I'm in. So for example, I come out. Check what tractor am I am in the crappiest tractor. And what you want to do is sell all your other tractors apart from one crappy tractor. So sell everything as well, including that, just to stack up your max cash bonus. So keep one. Obviously exit all of it now, and as you can see, we've got a nice juicy sum there. I'm going to try and press the D-pad to find out where I am. I'm here, which is actually a fantastic place. You want to choose the tractor near the orchard farm or anywhere particularly that you find which is easier for you in bulk space. Now you can do this anywhere, it's entirely up to you. I chose this one particular section purely because it's right near a house and uh, it's kind of near a couple of small fields so I can kind of filter and condense where my bee houses are going. So what I'm going to be doing is going into the sort of uh, option to find out where I'm going to be putting stuff. So you want to put a solar panel remotely close to the bee houses. Grab some bee houses and I particularly lined them up with a small little dirt road. You can do it on the other side as well. Please do take your time as well when you're doing this because uh, a lot of placing does come in handy. As you can see here, I just spammed the shit out of it. It's going to look untidy and I probably could have fed another couple of bee houses in there. So once you've done all that, you've pretty much got to sit back and relax. Now I'm just trying to find out where the hell I put them so we can have a look where they are. So let's see, I found them there, turn around. The only reason why you want this particular one shitty tractor is because once you rack up enough money, then you want to go to the shop and you want to buy various other different things as well with, you can add it addition to other different um, sort of particular farming methods. So now what I went to is I went to the settings, which are easy to find. I went on to the speed and I turned it on to the max, which is I believe is 120 plus. Now this actually works out brilliant because what happens now is every 30 seconds, you get a paycheck. Now, I'll just zoom up the camera in a minute. Because what happens is, it's every 30 seconds in this game, now on the 120, every hour is 30 seconds. So every hour we'll be getting a paycheck. So as you can see up here now, once we hit 8 o'clock in the morning, we get a nice juicy sum. And also as well, please do bear that in mind, guys. This is a be beginner's guide. This is noob. I've only had this a couple of days. It's just simple math and just simple me sitting there thinking about it. Um, but yeah, once it hits 8 o'clock, Boom, there we go, 920 pound or 920 dollars, depends on how you want to say it. And that's pretty much it. The more you have, the more money you're going to get. And trust me, you can leave this on. 30 seconds paycheck. You know, if you have loads of money sitting by and you want to do something with it, this is a great method to add onto your cash stack as well. Guys, if you did enjoy this video, make sure to hit me up with a, a like and a comment. This is going to be a follow up video, possibly to more Farming Simulator 15 videos. If you want to see them at all, Please let me know in the comment section below and I will do more videos, money making and tutorials, plus a playthrough. But until the next time, kill a kid there and kill a kid out.